Hey everyone, it's Ashley, and today I'm doing a short curly hair tutorial. I've gotten so many questions about my curly bob. The hair is from Eunice. It is a frontal sew-in. The hair that is on the weft, the bundle hair in the back, is Malaysian loose wave. The frontal is Brazilian body wave. They don't have a loose wave closure um, or frontal, which I highly recommend that they get, but... In the meantime, this is what I'm working with. Um, my hair started off like super, super long. If I'm going to be talking, I might as well start working. Um, my hair started off super, super long. Um, I had the usual like 20 something inches. I literally went to um, a stylist and I was just like, I want to bob. Here are a few different pictures. So, y'all. I've gotten a little bit better when it comes to working with frontals and stuff like that. But I'm definitely not, I haven't hit my peak. Okay, so first of all, is this, um, this going to unplug? No? Okay, well this is going to be a little janky then. Before I actually start, I meant to link this in the description box of some other video. I forgot. But this is the Infinity Pro Curling Iron by Conair. I picked it up on Amazon. Um... I'm gonna link it I'm gonna review this footage and like make a note to myself to link it down below I'm not gonna use the traditional curling wand today because I haven't necessarily been using my curling wand to curl my hair I've actually been using my curling iron um, and I wash my hair so I just had to re uh, like tack down my frontal and stuff like that um, I was using the got to be glued method, but that really works for wigs that are already kind of snug on your head, not necessarily like a frontal sewing. So I've found what works best for me because I don't, I don't feel like, well, first of all, if this is a frontal sewing, so I don't want to take the frontal off and then like re, I guess, glueless, gluelessly glue it down. <laughs> What am I trying to say? I'm not trying, like, this isn't like a wig, you know what I'm saying? I can't take this whole thing off. It's literally a frontal sew-in. So I need my frontal to be tacked down. Just like I would want my closure to be, you know, sewn down if this was a, a closure sew-in. So that's kind of why I mentioned in the description box of my previous vlog why I don't recommend getting a frontal sew-in. Because you have to work extra hard to keep your frontal tack down. So what I found is Walker's tape is the best glue that works for me. Um, I've tried Ghost Bond, it turned completely white on me. I tried Bolt Hold, it also turned white on me. Um, and I've tried it this in the, the methods that I've saw on Instagram. Um, I'll watch like Alonzo Arnold videos and stuff like that. It just wasn't working, okay? So the bolt hold wasn't really working for me. Sometimes it would, but sometimes it wouldn't. And I don't really like playing with those odds. Walker's tape, I got it from Amazon. That's what's been working for me. And it's not something that is glueless like got to be. So I can put the Walker's tape on and it'll last for like um quite a few days maybe even like a, a week and a half or so so that's why i like um the walker's tape so it's not tape it's just called walker's tape it's actually like a lace glue adhesive so that's what i like as adhesive but y'all okay so let me tell you this stylists these days i understand with youtube there's so much information out there now we can like do our hair ourselves which i'm all for but i don't know something in me just likes to go to a stylist to get get it done in like one day because if i do my hair myself it's like a three or four day project maybe like maybe like three days it's like a three day project so i personally like to go to um, a hair stylist so i go to this hair stylist but you know hairstylists these days this is my hairstylist rant by the way hairstylists these days have you come washed and blow dried and some hairstylists are even out here scamming y'all charging y'all 400 to 600 dollars to do frontal sew-ins and they're having you come washed blow dried and braided when have y'all ever heard of a stylist charging that kind of money and then you have to come braided. They don't even braid for you. So 
this is literally you know highway robbery or whatever but if you want that slayed arrogant hey alonzo arnold tokyo styles look then you know some of these stylists hop on instagram and really sell you this dream that they're just really gonna slay your hair or whatever but the issue with that is i've noticed a lot of these stylists are just going around doing hair but they're not even really building clientele they're just taking on a bunch of new clients and just like doing hair doing hair doing hair literally traveling city to city doing hair doing hair doing hair which is great and it's a great way to make you know 500 well 400 500 600 700 dollars a head that's cool i guess but they're not being helpful when it comes time to like do maintenance and that's where i feel like um even youtube videos tend to to lack especially because i don't know they a lot of stylists advertise their frontal maintenance at like 75 dollars 100 150 dollars and sometimes they wash your hair other times they don't but i'm hoping that when y'all are getting y'all's frontals maintenance they are washing y'all's hair but Sometimes, like, they'll wash your frontal sew-in and then um, they just dry it and then apply the glue again around your, your like, temple, your hairline or whatever. There are some stylists who are charging y'all $400 to $600 and they're using got to be glued. And it's just like, wait, what? <laughs> so... That's what I mean by like, I don't necessarily recommend frontal sew-ins. Frontal sew-ins are extremely high maintenance, like extremely, because you have to keep your frontal tack down. When you have a frontal wig, you can take your wig off, you know what I'm saying? And you can wash it at any time, you can get all the glue and the residue off. Um, if you are a glueless person, you can get all the got to be glued off. And then you can reapply, like, you know, nothing happened. But you have a frontal sew when you keep it for, um, like, a month or two. Girl, you are going to be going through it. So that's what I've been experiencing. Um, fortunately, I've gotten a little bit better when it comes to, like, working with frontals and also just, like, doing my hair in general so i can wash my hair myself and like maintenance my frontal myself and stuff like that but still it's a lot um it's a lot but let me just let me just talk to y'all for a quick second about let me go back to what i was talking about um about these stylists and their requirements so you know all these requirements all these rules not to mention stylists have this like don't bring anybody with you come washed and shampooed and conditioned and blow dried and no cameras no pets not that anybody's i don't know who's bringing pets to hair appointments but i've never brought pebbles to an appointment um sorry i'm getting text messages right now but yeah like all these rules um come on time if you're 10 minutes late you're charged ten dollars like all these rules but then stylists will be late or you'll you'll follow all the rules and they'll have seven people you know not even in a salon setting a lot of these stylists i've noticed aren't even in salon settings i'm just like why do you have all these rules and you're charging hundreds of dollars but you're not even like in a salon setting there's no there we go this is better this is easier there's no privacy there's no nothing like keeping me from everybody else that's one thing but the other thing um so i've heard i don't know if this is true if you guys know if this is true let me know so i've heard stylists aren't allowed by law to take down another stylist work so like um taking down a closure sew-in or a traditional sew-in or a frontal sew-in especially if you don't have anybody to help you can be so difficult and then I've noticed that there aren't a lot of videos on YouTube about how to take down um, like a frontal sew-in or some type of install that was um, installed using glue. Now, Gossipy Glue is a totally different thing. People say that Gossipy Glue is glue. 
I consider Got To Be Glued gel because I consider like Bolt Hold, Ghost Bond, Walker's Tape. I consider all those act like lace glue adhesives. I consider those to be like glue. You get Got To Be Glued like wet on accident. Like if somebody accidentally um, gets some splashes some water on you and it gets on your lace. Oh girl, your wig is coming up. Like, it could potentially come off if you're not careful with, like, got to be glued. When it comes to removing lace glue adhesive, when it comes to removing, like, the big wigs, the bold holds, the ghost bonds, um, the walker tape, stuff like that, I found that the, um, well, my stylist, Morgan, recommended I use C22. Um, other people on YouTube recommend alcohol, and some people recommend, like, alcohol and conditioner. I'm just like, uh-uh. I use the Salon Pro Lace Glue Remover. Y'all, stop ripping your hair out when you're taking these things down. Um, but that's that's my a part of my rant about hairstylists. They are so booked and busy, and they're so, you know, consumed with just, like, putting on a front for Instagram, not necessarily a front, but just like putting on for Instagram, like, oh, look at my client, look at my client, look at my client, look at my client, look at my client. It's just like, these stylists get booked up a month or two in advance, but it's just, I don't want to even put a deposit down for like um, a lace frontal install and then a maintenance. I want to be able to book you for maintenance when it's time for me to get my my frontal install maintenance but there's so many stylists who will open their books at the end of each month like today is what the 31st there are stylists opening their books today um and they get booked up in like 15 minutes and it's just like wait i didn't even even if i was willing to pay that extra 75 extra 100 extra 150 on top of the 400 to 600 you're already charging me to to do this frontal install like I can't even book a maintenance with you so now um, I'm gonna have to learn how to maintenance my own frontal myself but if I can maintenance my own frontal myself shouldn't I be able to make my own frontal wig or like get a frontal wig made because that's all frontal maintenance is on a sew-in it's just the same thing you would do when you apply your frontal wig you live and you learn. You live and you learn. But I will say, I mean, I really like this style. I wish my hair was a little um, longer in this style. Like, I wish it came down a little, a little more. But I really like, you know, the short, messy curls. And literally all I'm doing is taking the curling iron and clamping the hair and then just like twisting sorry the wind is like whistling outside it's like Pocahontas and John Smith are out there painting with all the colors um so I literally just twist the hair around or within the curling iron so I'm literally just twisting until the hair comes out and then when it comes out it's just a cute little a cute little curl but yeah all I'm doing is just very quickly like running the curling iron through the hair just like wrapping it around opening the curling iron like this clamping it like so and then using my index finger to use that rapid like hairstylist motion or my thumb depending on where the curling iron is and just like sliding the hair through you can roll the hair all the way up like this if you want to but you don't need to you can just like immediately let it let it immediately let it go once you get to the end there you go um so that's what we have so far and you can like rake your fingers through it to kind of see how it's coming along it's kind of loosen it up like I said, there's no rhyme or reason with these curls. You want them to be um, curly, but you also want them to be like really messy. Can I switch up the tempo? Switch up the tempo. There we go. So now we're almost done. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and conclude my rant. I don't really care to know why other stylists can't take down the work that they didn't do. Um, but I will say I really wish that these stylists would educate clients, especially if the client is a new client and they've never been to you before. I really wish that there was a lot more education in the frontal closure sewing wig community. Um, especially if there's going to be adhesive like bolt holes or walker's tape or ghost bond. Even got to be, um, if there's going to be any type of adhesive used, there needs to be some type of discussion with the client just to make sure the client understands like how to take things down themselves, how to maintenance them, maintenance their hair themselves. Um, Cause there are frontal horror stories here on YouTube where girls were getting their hair done and their frontal started lifting. And um, sometimes the stylists were unable to um, be reached and so now you have a frontal that's lifting and you don't know the first thing about got to be glued you don't know the first thing about any type of lace glue adhesive and then you have to turn to youtube but you've already spent you know like i said four to six hundred dollars and you don't know the first thing about like what's on your head it's definitely work you definitely have to know like what you're doing and to not be educated um just so somebody can make some money next go round is a little unfair to me. Nobody is telling these stylists not to get their money, but we are asking as clients who may not be as well versed um, to, to please just take that time to educate us. Some stylists will have eight people in the room with them while they're doing a client's hair and they barely know the client's last name they barely know anything about this client but yet you know they're putting this walker's tape adhesive on the hair swiveling the chair around so the client can't see what they're using and what they're doing and then the client gets home and they you know hop in the shower without a shower cap or something because you know sometimes people don't know any better and they're trying to get in contact with the stylist and the stylist is on to the next city or on to the next client and they're not paying any attention to what's going on outside of you know their installations i really think it should we should do better than that we should treat you know clients better than that and provide a little bit more education along with you know these high ticket prices for these hairstyles we all want to look like a celeb and have like that that touch but it does come at um, a price and with that price should come some extra help okay guys that is it that's how i curl my hair with my curling iron to achieve this messy um voluminous short bob look um, I really love my hair like this. A lot of people are saying this is made for you, but sis, you know me. You know me well enough to know that I miss my long middle part, my long side part, my long middle part curly hair, my long side part curly hair, my ash blonde hair. I, the only thing I don't really miss is my red hair, but I don't know. Red didn't really go with everything. It was, it was beaut, but it wasn't all that. Like, it was just, it was just a little beaut, so cute. Butte means cute. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what hairstyles you would like to see me try out. I feel like I've done, I've done a lot, but I haven't done enough. There's so many different options out there. Let me know. That's it. I love you. Bye. <laughs>